Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to learn Chapter 14, Thermodynamic. In this video, we are going to discuss questions 14.1, First Law of Thermodynamic. Okay, so, so thermodynamic is the study of a system involving energy in the form of heat and work. In a closed system, it's a system whose mass remains constant but the energy is allowed to increase or decrease. Okay, so there are two ways of energy transfer. The first one is heat. Okay, heat is the energy transfer due to the temperature difference. And the second one is work, where work is the energy transfer as a result of force. Therefore, any system can exchange energy with its surrounding in two general ways. The first one, heat, and the second one is work. Okay, next, in chapter 13, we define internal energy of the system as the total of kinetic energy and potential energy of all particles in the system. We will expect that the internal energy of the system will be increased if the work has done on the system. Okay, okay. similarly, internal energy would be a decreased if the heat flow out of the system or the work has done by the system. Okay, so later we will learn the first law of thermodynamic. Okay, now we go to the first law of thermodynamic. So the first law of thermodynamic states that the change in the internal energy of a closed system, or we say delta U, will be equal to the energy added to the system minus the work done by the system. Okay, so meaning that our delta U is equal to heat energy minus work done. Or we can write it as heat energy equals to change of the internal energy plus work done. Okay, so when you want to use this equation, Q equals to delta U plus work done, okay, we need to consider the sign convention. Okay, so every time when you want to use this equation, you need to consider the sign convention. Okay, so Q positive, uh, meaning that the heat is flow into the system. Okay, so when you substitute Q negative, meaning that the heat is flow out from the system. Okay, okay delta U, because delta U is the change of internal energy and the equation is equal to F over 2 and R delta T. Okay, meaning that our delta U is actually directly proportional to the change of the temperature. Okay, so delta U, when we substitute positive, meaning that the temperature is increased, uh, meaning that the final temperature minus initial temperature, you will get a positive value. Okay, and we substitute negative delta U when the temperature is reduced. And the third part is the work done. Okay, so work done positive, meaning that the work done is by the system. Okay, and usually by the system, it involves expansion. Okay, meaning that the volume is increasing. And when we substitute negative work done, meaning that the work done is on the system, or uh, usually is compression. Okay, so these are three things that you need to consider. The sign convention for heat, sign convention for internal energy, and the sign convention for work done. Okay, okay next we go to internal energy. The change in the internal energy or delta U of the system during any thermodynamic process is independent of path. So as long as the initial is 1 and the final is 2. Okay, so no matter what is the path that you are uh, through, go through? Okay, as long as the initial is one and the final is two, the internal energy are the same. For example, the first one, delta u one to two. Okay, delta u one to two actually equals to delta u one four to two. Okay, or we can write as delta u one to three. After that, from three to two. Okay, so actually they are similar huh? as long as. Okay, as long as initial point is 1 and the final half is 2. Okay? Okay, however, if let's say from 2 to 1, the energy will be negative. Eh? Okay, because changing or reversing. Eh? So the total energy, the change of the internal energy will be negative. Okay. Next. Okay, the internal energy depends on the temperature because U is equal to F over 2 and R delta T. Okay, if the initial and the final temperature of the system is the same, meaning that our delta U is equal to zero, meaning that the T is constant. Okay, T is constant. So when T constant, delta U will equal to zero, meaning that there's no changing of the temperature. Okay. The changes in the internal energy also zero in a cyclic thermodynamic process, uh, repeated process, because the initial and final state of the system is the same, uh, meaning that if you start from here and then you, you go to one cycle. Okay, so meaning that you, you start from one, 
You start from 1 and then you go back to 1. Okay, so for this case, our delta u will equal to 0 because you go back to the initial point. Exercise 1. A force act on the gas compressing it and just the 25 joule work on it. Okay, so meaning that our work when this question say compressing, meaning that our work is negative 25 joule. And the gas is then pulled so that it loses 15 joule of the heat energy. Okay, so meaning that our Q is the heat is lost to the surrounding, so we must substitute negative 15 joule. Okay, find the intern find the change in the internal energy, yeah, meaning that we want to find delta U. So from the first law of thermodynamic, Q is equal to work done plus change of the internal energy. So heat, because it's lost to the surrounding, and we must substitute negative 15. Work done because the gas is compressing. Eh? Compressing, the volume is reducing, so we must substitute negative 25 plus change of internal energy. So our internal energy, the answer that we will get is equal to 10 joule. Okay, next question is number 2. A gas expand, okay, expand, eh? mengembang, under constant temperature. Okay, so constant temperature here meaning that T is constant. Or we can say there's no changing of the temperature. So when there's no changing of the temperature, internal energy also equals to zero because I already mentioned U is directly proportional to change of the temperature. So when there's no change of temperature, there's no changing of the internal energy. And thus the work of 30 joule. Okay, so because of the word expand, okay, meaning that our volume is increasing. Therefore, our work done is equal to positive because it's expand, expansion. 30 joule. 2 a what is the change in the internal energy okay so since delta t is equal to zero therefore our internal energy also equals to zero eh? because there is no changing of the temperature okay b find the amount of heat energy absorbed or lost by the gas okay so they ask you whether it's absorbed okay meaning that the heat is pulled into or lost meaning that the heat is up so our equation Q equals to change of internal energy plus work done. So since the internal energy is equal to zero, therefore our heat energy is equal to work done and work done is equal to positive 30 joule. Okay, so when Q is positive, okay, meaning that the energy is absorbed. Okay, or the heat energy is flow into the system. Okay, into the system. Okay, because we get net positive. Okay, so that's all for this video. See you on next video. We will continue discuss on exercise 2, thermodynamic processes. Okay, see you. Bye.